Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through iterative depending A star ID, A star that is nothing but ID A star guys. Guys, this algorithm is 100% similar to A star algorithm with just one simple concept added. So we will be having a fixed threshold guys, that is nothing but F bound. So once we are going through the algorithm and problem, you'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry guys. So it provides a depth first search with limited to some particular bound. Okay, so it uses the formula f of n is equals to g of n plus h of n. The same formula, guys. Please remember that's the formula for heuristic searching. Okay, so the algorithm will be in this way. First, set the three shoulds as the least value of f of n. So basically, once the graph is given, in this method, you can directly calculate the values, guys, of f of n. So even in the previous problem, also you can do, but if it is asked for 10 marks, doing it will take almost like in this sheet, in this definition sheet, like almost in the half page, you can complete the solution for 10 marks, guys. Will you, will the evaluator give you 10 marks? No, absolutely. So you need to do it step by step. So that's the reason why I have done that in step by step, but this problem you can do directly, guys. So f of n equal to g of n plus h of n. So now by checking if the threshold, so you'll be setting a small threshold value, guys, like that's the least value. So if the threshold value is matching with the initial node, then we will be checking the child nodes. So now by checking the threshold value, if it is greater than or equal to the child node, then expand. Else check the next least f of n. So it continues like a recursion, guys. So one after the other, we'll be checking. So continue till you reach the goal node. So the algorithm is pretty simple for this iterative, guys. So the last step will be once you found it, you will be stopping. That's it. Okay. So now let us go through the advantages, disadvantages and a problem. So advantages. Finding an optimal solution and the shortest steps, guys. Please remember that. And it requires less storage. But the disadvantage is that it takes a long computation time and it's a bit costly. Fine? Okay. So let us take a small example, guys. This is the given question and this is the heuristic table. So in our previous lecture, we have solved it step by step like A to B and A to C, A to B to D to, sorry, B to, sorry, A to B to D and A to B to E or A to C to F. So in that way, we solve step by step, right? So you can do, apply this table directly on this guy with a simple track. So basically at A, please close that lower part. At A, we are not having anything. So directly add 0 plus 7. Now at B, from A, we traveled one distance to, with 3. So 1 plus 3 will be of 4 at B. And at C, 2 distance with 1, 3. So further moving on till here, the program, the diagram is done, right? So A to B to E. So 1 plus 3 plus 0. Okay. So 1 plus 4 plus 1, 2 plus 5 plus 2. So in that way, you will be just calculating the values of the function, guys. So now this will be your updated directed diagram, guys. By applying the formula f of n equal to g of n plus h of n. Fine. So we got the values. So now you'll be starting from the start node. Okay. So now the final diagram is this. Okay. So in the whole diagram, what is the least value, guys? So the least value of g of n is nothing but 3, right? So you will be assuming the threshold as a three. Okay. So now from the start, if you are, okay, let us assume the entry fee is seven rupees. Okay. But everyone, these are your friends and one of your friend is having three rupees. You will be, you are checking who is having the least money so that you are having hundred rupees and you want to give him. So that's the reason why you are checking for the least guy. Okay. So the least guy is nothing but three. So can he enter into the seven rupees by giving three rupees? Can he enter into the auditorium or to the park or anything like that with uh, which has the entry fee as 7 no he cannot so that's the reason why least value is 3 hence threshold is 3 but start symbol a has value 7 so 3 is less than 7 so it is rejected so the next value in least is 4 so 4 is also rejected as 4 is less than 7 next to 5 5 is also rejected because it is less than 7 6 so 6 is also rejected because it is less than 7 whereas 7 will be accepted because it is greater than or equal to 7 guys so now with the help of a 7 we will be expanding it so we will be getting b and c so we'll be drawing in this way. So once you expand 7. So after that what is the value here guys? Sorry. So now we are having here B and C right. So now here we'll be expanding B guys. So from B where you will be going guys. So from B we'll be getting like this. Okay. So is there any chance for to extend D? No. So is there any chance for extend E? So basically E is our goal node. So we reached our goal node. So this is the method guys which we, which is used in the IDA star algorithm so i hope everyone got at least a small idea on this IDA star algorithm so basically i missed one topic guys that is nothing but o star algorithm so that i'll be providing you the notes in our group so in the next lecture we'll be going to the constraint satisfaction thank you thanks for watching